And last up in our blue floodlight showdown, but certainly not least, we have the GE 150 watt par 38 dichro color. Runs on 120 volts. Sorry, that's the French. There you go. Now, I really am a fan of this bulb, and we're going to go in a little bit more depth. One, the dichroic coating, which filters the light. And then this black painted sides. And just the overall construction just feels more sturdy than the other bulbs. Especially the uh, Westinghouse. A little... These two are a lot closer in comparison, but the construction of the GE is just beyond compare. And you're also going to see in a minute how bright and rich the blue is. It, it's like, sorry, when they say full rich colors, they mean full rich colors. And you can see the others that they come in. They come in red, yellow, green, blue. Unfortunately, been discontinued, but if you can find them, get them. Alright, so as usual, we're going to bring down the house lights. And then, bam, just... This camera does not show how rich that blue is. It is just striking. It's almost like an LED blue. But right there, it doesn't look blue. That's because of the dichroic coating. If you look at it straight on, it's blue. But if you look at it from the side, it's reddish. Maybe kind of yellowish. And that's that dichroic coating that's on there. But rest assured it is blue and very blue I love this bulb just because of how unique it is I just got it today and it's easily one of my favorite bulbs one because it's my favorite color and two just so cool how the coating works on it definitely my favorite bulb out of all the ones I own and I own quite a few well, videos are coming short soon Alright, I'm just going to leave on a shot of the ceiling. Alright, this was the GE Dichro Color Par 38 Floodlight.